Mark Southwood, you're the Chief Executive of uh, Temple Group. Thanks for joining yeah. us here at uh, uh, this uh, conference day, this uh, tomorrow's Royal Conference. Yeah. We're really hearing a lot at the moment in infrastructure about how the case is being made uh, for actually investing in infrastructure. But are we getting better at delivering it? I suppose, and your, your, you know, your business is about helping clients to get to delivery. Are we getting better? I think we are. I think we are learning uh, a lot along the way. I don't think... Um, the whole question of shared learning is mm -hmm. still a key part, I think, that needs to be taken a lot more uh, actively by the industry. Right. I mean, I think one of the things that you've got to appreciate is it's very important to be involved in all parts of the project life cycle yeah. in order to understand what the issues are in terms mm -hmm. of the delivery as well as yeah. the front end. And uh, one of the things is it's about this continuity through the point of an approval process into delivery. Yeah. Uh, and getting that right, because obviously the change in teams that happen yeah. so often uh, creates problems. So well, we heard Mark yeah. Khan, Chief Executive of Network Rail, talking earlier about the need to really plan, spend more time planning up front, uh, spend more time really getting the design right. Yeah. Uh, and I, I imagine that you know that's largely what you, you spend a lot of a lot of your time in your business doing. It is. I mean, you know, we one of the things that we developed through Channel Tunnel Rail Link, actually High Speed yeah. One was a whole question of environmental minimum requirements. Yeah. Uh, and it was a whole new benchmark, really, in terms mm. of environment sustainability and the sort of standards mm. that should be imposed, really, around industry. And I remember at that time, a lot of the construction industry, it was a real wake-up call to, yeah. actually, we need to take environment in a much more serious way. Yeah. And I think that's been good for the industry. And I think Crossrail and Thameslink programme have driven, again, another yeah. stake, another level, if you like, in yeah. terms of those environmental standards. Yeah. And I think it's it's very important in terms of the legacy that we leave around these big projects. Yeah. And you know, what, yeah. so because one of the things that was mentioned earlier today was the importance of seeing these projects as not just transport projects, but the part they play in the broader community. Yeah. And, and engaging so, the consumer, engaging the passenger, engaging uh, the public uh, is key to making these projects a success. Exactly right. Yeah. And I think you know one of the things. It's not just the passengers, but it's those communities as well. Yeah. And giving them a, a, a real role mm -hmm. in terms of yeah. community engagement. Yeah. And I think it's got better. Projects mm. have woken up to the fact consultation mm. is a two-way process, yeah. not just a one-way process. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. so we, so so we, hear, we, yeah. we hear railways talking about customer focus. We hear the road yeah. talking about customer focus. We hear uh, uh, airports talking about customer focus. For Temple, you know, where, where, where do you see the growth in your business? Well, I think infrastructure continues to be a very important part for Britain, uh, UK, yeah. and uh, it's clearly the government recognise that. It's a big part of uh, their agenda. So I think infrastructure is a good place to be. Yeah. And I think, again, the demand around housing and looking at the whole way in which you have to integrate transport with housing and planning is, is crucial. So for us, that's the area. Yeah. Uh, we've always been strong in terms of rail and transport, but it's this broader regeneration yeah. which we see as a very important part of uh, our growth strategy. And, and growth, sure. growth is what it's all about for you. I mean, you, you, you do see you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's a growth, uh, a future of growth for you. Absolutely, growth is a very important part to where we're at. And I think we can bring, I think as an SME and mm -hmm. a successful SME, you know, we, we can bring important uh, understanding and yeah. knowledge around the project experiences yeah. that we've had. And this concept that I said earlier about better shared learning mm -hmm. and an academy, which yeah. is what we want to develop in the next uh, few years, I think can make a big difference yeah. in the industry. What could stop, what could stop your ambition? Oh, that's a difficult <laughs> one, isn't it? Um, I don't know, I, I've always been ambitious. I mean, I was a founder of yeah. Temple setting yeah. it up. Uh, so I've always been very driven. Mm -hmm. um, so, but do you need the government I, to do I, something? I do, um, do, you need, do, you need, do you need the skills to be able to do Look, I think there's always broader engagement yeah. that one needs. And I, I think to get that, uh, yeah, th there's always uh, a need to try and bring a broader cohort yeah. to the table. It's not just a voice. You and I know that actually a single voice doesn't achieve very much, but mm -hmm. by bringing the right people to the table. And I think the government are moving in the right direction on some things but again more can be done but I think it's the industry mm -hmm. that has to do better in terms yeah. of building this broader cohort and hence the academy to try and uh, provide the right catalyst around that. Mark thanks for joining us today uh, interesting times and we look forward to keeping an eye on what's going on at Temple. Many thanks.